Greetings, Divine Radiance, and welcome to your nightcap for your soul with me, Nikila Asha of Ashford Scott Life Sculpting. I am a divine interpreter, interpreting messages and methods from the divine that empower you to create and live an abundant life. So this evening's nightcap is the mirror, the mirror. And what it says is know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. Let's go ahead and get into the message. But before we do, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And be sure to turn the notifications on so you don't miss all the delicious yumminess that gets posted to the channel. Okay, so the mermaid sing message is, water is a great mirror. And the darker it is, the clearer the reflections of the world around it will be. And so it is with life. The clear mirror we can look into will show us who we appear to be. But the dark mirror metaphysically is when life or the sea or our feelings become darker, more complex, sad, thoughtful, deep, and at times very painful. But it is at those times that we can see who we truly are. For under duress, our true character can be observed. And sometimes we do not always like the truth of what we see in this dark mirror. But the mermaid can help us with this as she holds up a mirror but a magical one that not only shows us our appearance, it shows all of our, all of ourselves, our sweetness, our hurts, our scars. In it, we may see what is hidden to the eye of the body, but known to the eye of the soul. In dreams, these mirrors may appear, and in emotional times, when we realize that we are still hurting or have wounds we have sought to cover up, there is no need to cover up or camouflage in this beautiful mirror, nor is it right to judge the scars and woundings or the beauty and the glory. They simply are. And by seeing clearly, especially in the dark mirror of the great mother ocean, we can see who we are. While we swim in clear waters, we can see the light and the positive. But when we swim in dark waters, we can truthfully see so much of who we are and make changes adaptions or come to accept the truth of who we are without seeking to adjust we come to self-love self-knowledge and self-healing so the divination message is it is time to gently yet firmly see the truth about who you are and to understand that who you are is not ugly or lacking but a truthful beautiful wonder latin voyage into the soul it is time to be shown what the eye cannot always see, but what the spirit has sensed. This may come through observations, loving words from friends who are truly able to see you, from a stranger who notices something that too many overlook, or it can come in a moment when you glimpse who you have become. Dreams, visions, and flashes of intuition are also the mirrors that work with us at this time. Mirrors appear to be will be mirrors and who you appear to be will be coming for you. Okay, listen, for whatever reason, I'm getting downloads as I'm reading, so it's throwing my reading off, so I'm gonna read that again. Mirrors of who you appear to be will be coming up for you. Be sure to embrace the mirror and the magical mermaid's tools as an ally and wonders and healing will unfold. Okay, so this message is really powerful. Over on Facebook last week, I posted something to the effect of every message that we give, every bit of advice that we share, every way that we lend a hand to help our fellow human being to rise and be better, right? Those messages aren't just for them, they're also for us, right? So that's one way to look at the mirror. But another way to look at the mirror, we often hear how people don't trigger us in vain. If we're being triggered by how someone is acting or how someone is behaving, it's because they're showing us, they're showing up as our mirror, a space in us the Spirit is saying is unhealed or the healing is not complete, right? So when you're being triggered, or when you're delivering a message, always know that 
there's something there for you. It's never about the other person. So look at your mirrors with gratitude. Now that's not to say that once your mirrors reveal to you whatever you're called to see, that you're A, to release them, or B, to stay with them, right? Spirit will guide you on what direction to take next. But the whole point in understanding the mirror effect is knowing that no one is here to harm us or hurt us, even if the experience brings harm or hurt. Everyone is here to show us, to be a mirror, so that we can see our own reflection, our own inner reflection. So that is this evening's nightcap. I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. Sweet dreams.